the chairman may read. And on this note, I wish you all safe journey to your various destinations. And once again, congratulations. Yanara assassini, and ya board in Nevayan, Mojana, Nanu, Yanaka, and Tomayan, and Domain, and was so, say, ye be a castle, named the trust of Porto, and your person, and for me, and the young Ramotan, my assassin, hold on, and so, Amano, say, yo, Amano, say, yo. I am Sanahasa, a man for Granet, a man no serving you, a man no serving you. I am Sanahasa, a man for Granet. All right, so these are going to be the three anthems we'll be singing during the program. Please, when it's time for us to sing, let us sing and sing well. I have all your names before me. So if you don't sing well, after the program, I'll mention it on TV that Mercy Asante didn't sing very well. All right, well done, and congratulations once again. Please take your seat. Meanwhile, when convocation gets to the entrance, we shall all rise and receive convocation and counsel into the hall, please. Let's bear that in mind.
live coverage of the second session, the 25th, the second session congregation of the University of Education. The procession is already underway, making its way into the auditorium. And very soon, they will be within the auditorium, but I'm sure you are already enjoying live pictures from outside the auditorium. Please, shall we be on our feet? Radio Wind Bay 98.3. We are bringing you live sound audio and video images from the Joko Sanamoa Conference Center where we are having the conversation of the University of Education Wilma, the second session. So we now have the procession within the auditorium. and diploma. It's your famous Makwa Banfamba Ayajofus and I'm Women's Conference Center. It was North Campus, University of Education, Winneba. Now, sir, it's a Chenumbo in Ayera. Aye, convocation. Now, what do you want to do? What about Wununga? Ma, what do you want to do? 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 I am Pono to do the new number for to do a bean, which second session, 25th congregation of our University of Education in Ebaha. Dam a shady in a Sia Ponicia, Nane a Sia for what one you may see, and now one is in other baby in open one in a rank. Now in there, a Sia for and Concon Croco and Prima Cron, I have been a dozen again. A Sia for and Pimu do, a Sia for Pimu do. In a is your pony in the orphan one. Ah, no more. I pim. I have been here at the water. I was here. I have one thousand two hundred and eight. I want to know where you've been. Ma, where should be that? Walk when you walk west. What you want to do? I've been for another room. I in the is your pony orphan one. Now I want to say, eh, Renana, what you want to see? I don't be here. Those the kind of cry in Fianan also want to do ye. In pim is here or hanging a donor. I oh, yes, 6,120. When I want to watch the diplomas, I don't so. One to do your employment being a hell no, and you a doctor a being. Now, them in Crawford doing now. No more day being one in that warrior or beautiful 
Mr. PAD, what the Obenfo about the ball or all year is your pony moon and that's there. And why be near in Sina is your pony, what the one out to mend there or pony. Now, America, the Jimmy our radio windy bay 98.3 FM, though. Equal Facebook, our radio windy bay 98.3 FM. The Mara on the YouTube, so our radio windy bay 98.3 FM. And that's echo at official dot UW, sir. On the Sujimedi or ho. Na Yamon na Mewaha. And pay for it's nice in the Jimmy, although I shall see tea. Chaplain Bob on Pioneer, it's amazing. Yet the eyeshadow. Good morning. Shall we rise up for the prayer, yeah, please? We are praying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for such a wonderful morning. We thank you for the gathering of your creations. We thank you that we are gathered here to honor ourselves and to pat at our backs the success that we have talked so far. I commit the program into your hand. Let everything be done according to your will. And let us see the manifestation of our excellence through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, members of council, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to invite the Chairman of the University Council, Professor Obim Riku, to deliver his welcome address and constitute this assembly into a congregation. Thank you. Welcome address by the chairman of the UEW Governing Council at the second session of the 25th Congregation Ceremony of the University of Education, Winneba. Protocols. Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Yaose Aduchum, in absentia. Honorable Central Regional Minister, Mrs. Justina Marigold Hassan. Members of the University of Education, Winneberg Governing Council. Vice Chancellor, Professor Anthony Afolbroni. Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Andy Ofori Brickran. Registrar, Surveyor Paul Ose Berma Esquire. University Librarian, Mr. Bonote Boa, Finance Officer Mr. Francis Obin, Principal, College of Ghanaian Languages Education at Jumako, Professor Dominic Kwakumensa, Nini the seventh Omanian of a Futu traditional area, Okokudufu Nana Kwamina Hama Ababio the second, Omanian 
of the Jumako traditional area, members of convocation and staff of the university, principal, uh, municipal chief executive, a Futu municipal area, principals of culture education present, members of a Futu traditional council, the clergy, distinguished invited guests, the media, distinguished graduates, students, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of the Government Council of the University of Education, Winneba, the entire university community, and on my own, I warmly welcome you all to the second session of the 25th Congregation Ceremony of the University of Education, Winneba. Let me take this opportunity to thank the President, His Excellency, Nana for delegating his Chief of Staff, Madame Kosuya Frema Opare, to great commission of the Special Congregation Ceremony and also commission and unveil new buildings at the university a couple of days ago. Had the president come in person, it would have been the president's third visit to UEW since he assumed office in 2017. This tells the, us the premium His Excellency places on education. I also thank the Minister of Education, staff, and students for their continued support in lifting the flag of UEW so high. Ladies and gentlemen, congregation is an important rite of passage for graduating students of every university. For the graduating class, it is at the pinnacle of all the years of hard work undertaken during the period of their studies. It also proves to the stakeholders of the university and the world at large that the institution is alive to its responsibility of converting, quote and unquote, raw material of entrance into the university into the refined finished product of qualified world-class professionals ready to positively impact society and contribute to the well-being of its people. On this note, I would like to congratulate all graduates, mainly from the Institute for Distance Education and Yield Learning, IDEL, and those from other faculties graduating today. We very much appreciate the efforts, both material and mental, that have gone into your studies. It is on this note that I say to you all, I equal for making good all the investments made into your education. We are very proud of your achievements today. Appreciation. We wish to thank the government of Ghana through the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Finance for the continued support for UEW. Quite recently, you EW received a financial clearance to recruit new staff, especially lecturers, to augment the overstretched staff. And I am proud to say that this is the first time in the history of this great institution that such a huge financial clearance has been received. The additional staff just employed by UEW will go a long way to strengthen and consolidate our position as Ghana's leading institution in higher education. <clears throat> Recent developments at the university. Recently, I inaugurated eight, an eight-member search committee 
constituted by the Governing Council to begin a search for a suitable candidate to occupy the position of Vice Chancellor. The industrious current Vice Chancellor, Reverend Father Professor Anthony Afulbroni, will be retiring at the end of September this year, thereby making the position vacant from the 1st of October 2021. Today, I reiterate my plea at the recent inauguration of the search committee for all relevant stakeholders to cooperate with the search committee to make the recruitment exercise successful. Ladies and gentlemen, I am glad to inform you that the SY College of Technology Education Kumasi and the College of Agriculture Education Asante Mampon, which were hitherto constituent parts of UEW, now form an autonomous university. The government has recently granted the charter for Kumasi and Asante Mampon campuses autonomy to become the Akintin, a Piamenka University of Skills Training and Entrepreneurial Development. The new university has been named after the late Ghanaian industrialist, Akenten Apia Menka. We wish them well. The University of Education Winneba continues to put measures in place to enforce all COVID-19 safety protocols. One of such measures is the formation of the COVID-19 tax force comprising some staff and student leaders. And I must say, this has achieved positive results. No wonder UEW did not record any case as far as COVID-19 is concerned, even though some institutions had cases. Let's all continue to adhere to the safety protocols since the virus remains a threat to human existence. COVID-19 is real, so please stay safe. Appeal. We are appealing to the, to the government and the Ministry of Finance to, as a matter of agency, address the industrial action by the Senior Staff Association, Universities of Ghana. S-S-A-U-O-G. And the looming industrial action by the Ghana Association of University Administrators, GAO. S-S-A-U-O-G members are currently on strike, and GAO has indicated its intention to do the same if the Minister of Finance goes ahead with a decision to stop the payment of certain allowances to some of its members. We are calling on the Minister of Finance to continue to engage unions with outstanding issues. I am calling on Vice Chancellor Ghana to, as a master of agency, intervene to avert any disruption to the academic calendar of public universities. Congratulations and advice to graduates. To our gallant graduating students, we congratulate you for the relentless efforts that you have brought you this far. Every success is, with, is not without hard work, dedication, commitment, perseverance, and self-discipline. Your success did not come on a silver platter. You have indeed worked for it, and therefore, we join hands with your parents, friends, loved ones, partners, boyfriends, and girlfriends to celebrate your laudable achievement. 
as worthy ambassadors from the citadel of knowledge, our worthy graduates should not be seen leading or involving themselves in issues of sakawa or any form of anti-social rituals. Now, let me add my voice to the recent social media campaign, quote unquote, fix the country, and remind all Ghanaians that it will take our collective F effort to fix our country. I admit that while the government has a major role to play in transforming our country, it cannot happen without the participation and contribution of citizens. We can fix the country if we all work together as nation builders. As alumni of this great institution, I urge you to be worthy ambassadors and to be proud teachers wherever you find yourselves. In conclusion, once again, the Governing Council congrats, congratulates you, our dear graduates, for your tireless efforts that have now borne fruits as we witness today. I extend a hand of appreciation to your families, spouses, and loved ones who assisted you during your long walk to this glorious destination. May the good Lord bless you all. Congratulations once again, and I thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I will then move on to the second part of my text this morning by constituting this gathering into a formal gathering of the university for the purpose for which we have met here. And now, by the powers vested in me as chairman of the governing council of the University of Education, whenever, I do hereby declare this assembly duly constituted into a congregation for the purpose of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas and certificates. Thank you, and God bless us all. I am done.
Well, yes, thank you very much. I think uh, we'll have time to digest into this kind of summary speech. At this point, the Vice Chancellor will be addressing the government very, very soon. I guess this the Chairman and members of the Governing Council of the University, government representatives present, representatives of sister universities present, Nenyi Gathe, the seventh council member and Omaihin of a Futu traditional area and his entourage, other traditional leaders present, members of my management team, colleague professors and other members of convocation, other staff of the university, GRASAG and SRC presidents, alumni, friends of the university, parents and guardians, our resilient and hardworking graduating class of 2020, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all, wherever you are, on behalf of the management team and the academic board to the second session of the 25th Congregation. Congregations are always special events that bring us to share in the overwhelming sense of accomplishment by our graduates who are moving forward into the world. Due to dependency of the COVID and its restrictive measures, however, we have had to hold this congregation virtually. This doesn't minimize in any way its importance, however. My dear graduates, amid the pandemic, you did subject yourselves to the rigorous process in your quest to become a source of enlightenment and empowerment to peoples of our contemporary and future society. Together, we were at the forefront pioneering some online academic activities in defiance of the pandemic so that we could celebrate our collective victories today. Congratulations. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, congregation ceremonies, as you know, are also special moments in the lives of universities where degrees and diplomas are conferred on students. They are occasions when we take stock of our key activities, we report to our cherished stakeholders, and we take the opportunity to show off our unique products, the most outstanding ones in this case being you, the graduating class of 2020. A detailed report of activities of the university has been compiled as the annual report for this second session of the 25th Congregation for your attention, and for this reason, I shall only provide highlights to you. Some achievements. Plagiarism checker. Following our strategic objective to expand graduate studies, promote quality research output, and enhance academic standards, our university has received approval and we are in the process of procuring a plagiarism checker, turn it in, to further secure the quality of research works produced by our students and our staff. Recently commissioned projects. Only two days ago, Mr. Chairman, the President, represented by his Chief of Staff, Honorable Akosia Fremao Pari, and assisted by the Minister of Education, Honorable Dr. Yao Osea Juchum, helped us commission several projects for your use and for your benefit. Among these projects are eight sets of 500 capacity lecture theaters, a food court, an ultra-modern student center, the technology block at the central campus, and the Tower of Excellence at Simpa Runabout here at the North Campus. I implore you to handle all these beautiful facilities with the care and the healthy maintenance culture required to ensure that these projects serve their utmost purpose for as long as practicable. Distance education projects. To consolidate its leadership role in the country in bringing quality education 
to the doorsteps of qualified Ghanaians, our university has paid close attention to several ongoing projects for the Institute for Distance and E-Learning. A lot of steady progress has been made on the two-story block at Kukurantumi, the three-story block at Cape Coast, the three-story block at Techiman Tadieso, three-story block at Ejeso Onri, and the two-story block in Accra. These are designed to provide lecture halls, internet cafe, library, and ancillary facilities for our DE staff and our students. Upgrade of IDEL. Council Chairman, the Academic Board has only recently approved the proposal to upgrade the Institute for Distance and E-Learning into a college to enable it to expand and to roll out additional programs to cater for the training of more professionals in this country. Expansion of IDEL. IDEL is setting up a study center at the Ghana Military Academy and Training School in Accra to train military officers for their professional and personal development. The institution will offer at its center some market-driven contemporary security and education programs to arm interested people, especially security officers, to reinforce the nation's security services. In addition to opening a center at the Ghana Military Academy, IDEL is also opening six other new study centers at Jache Pramso in the Ashanti region, Gosso in Ahafo, Damongo in Savannah, Nalarigo in Northeast, and Sawam in Eastern, and Ada in Greater Accra learning centers to a total of 47 centers up from the 40 that we've had over the past few years. Capacity building for idle staff. The Institute for Distance and E-Learning has received unprecedented support from this management of the university to engage in sustained professional development, to refresh and upgrade the knowledge and competencies of staff, and to keep them abreast of current trends in distance education. By its special nature, Distance education thrives on continuous professional development. For almost every month of this year, for instance, IDEL has organized workshops to address critical aspects of the operations for relevant participants. Management is determined to pursue the vision of the university with passion while it aligns and supports government's vision on the delivery of quality education to the masses. IDEL and COVID-19. When the COVID struck, IDEL moved quickly to integrate online learning with the use of the UEW learning management system to bring the semester to a successful end. This integration of online to distance learning has now become integral to the activities of the Institute in its forward march. When restrictions ease for the reopening of schools, IDEL prioritized the safety of all its stakeholders. It put in place comprehensive guidelines and policy to regulate activities, COVID-19 response teams at the various centers and provided the basic necessities as a precaution to fighting the disease. Thermometer guns, hand sanitizers, soaps, tissues, personal protective equipment and Veronica buckets were dispatched swiftly to the study centers to enable the students and staff effectively observe the COVID-19 safety protocols. Graduation statistics. Chairman, at the second session of the 25th Congregation Ceremony today, a total of 10,000 students will be represented for graduation. Of this figure, 1,288 students will graduate with postgraduate degrees, 12 of whom are PhD graduates. 6,120 students will graduate with first degrees and 2,592 with diplomas from IDEL. Now to you, the graduating class. I wish, with your kind permission, to specifically address you, if I may. May I? Well, I give myself permission, since you are not responding. <laughs> My dear students, there is every good reason to celebrate you today 
on your accomplishments. You have worked so hard. And I remember when I was a pro vice chancellor, I used to travel around the country where I saw you in Enchi, in Nabrongo, in all the places. And I remember seeing some of you sometimes a baby at the back while you are also pregnant and riding a bicycle and carrying your bag on top of your head. How you did it, it was only by grace. You have come very far. Congratulations. When you started the program some two or four years ago, some of you had apprehensions. Of course, some had left. But you braced the storms and you did your work with discipline, with determination, with optimism, and with steadfastness. Thank God these virtues have paid off. I entreat you to take advantage of the ICT for continuous learning and skills improvement. I have had to re-echo this because it is the most effective trend to continuous improvement. Today, as we officially commission you into the world as our latest set of alumni, I'd like to urge you all to be worthy ambassadors of this great university to bring significant changes in your lives and society as a whole. Remember to uphold the values of respect for others, commitment, integrity, and loyalty. Don't be afraid to be adventurous. Dare to create and build your own jobs, even if small and humble. Don't limit yourselves. You know, there are people in this world, a lot indeed, who think what they think they limit themselves in terms of what they can do. But don't forget that you can go as far as your mind lets you. So allow your mind to open up and think of endless possibilities of great things to be granted you by Almighty God if you allow yourselves what you believe and what you have faith in, you can achieve. Hallelujah. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all the best in your journeys. Once again, congratulations to you all, and may you have success in your future endeavors. Thank you, and may God richly bless you all. Three, and that is the basis on which we touch on so many important issues. Yeah, the acquisition of imperialism checker. We also talked about the recently commissioned projects and the need for us to have a healthy culture of maintenance in order to uh, ensure that those facilities are put into proper use for as long as it's practicable. He talked about idle projects that are going on in Accra, in Cape Coast, in Koferidria, and other places, and how far those projects have come. He talked also about the upgrade of idle to help it expand and grow faster than it is doing now. Talked about the expansion of IDOL. Now IDOL has added seven more centers to the existing 40, so IDOL has now 47 uh, centers that it is operating. Talked about IDOL and how they cope during the COVID-19, at the height of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, where they integrated online learning, um, also in the fight against the COVID-19, either provided the various centers, the basic necessities that would enable the centers to effectively uh, observe the safety protocols and to fight the pandemic. He also talked about capacity building, emphasizing that uh, idle or distance education is a special area in itself that thrives on continuous professional development 
and under his administration, a lot of support has been given to IDOL to um, arrange and organize capacity building program. Indeed, every other month of this year, IDOL has held capacity building programs to uh, build the capacities of relevant staff within the operations of IDOL. He now came down to a point where he had to address the graduates and appreciate them for the efforts they have put in in the accomplishments that we are celebrating uh, today. We encourage them to be bold and daring and to go into ventures that will make them employable and that will help them improve themselves and improve also society. We encourage them to be worthy ambassadors of UEW. Now, work on one of them, Vice Chancellor, Reverend Father Professor Anthony Akuguni, a kind of a war, Nenum Testimony. Now, Vice Chancellor, Chef Mizi Ahua, a Shaponi, or the Abwa, my work to add the Zinia, there is Shapon out of the dom. The Kokupi, now, why are you not Warrior, Monadi Shadi, the Jimiza was among the Wunja, Waka from Kopu or the now what the end, the Minty, a Shaponi Abom was in there. Or what so if you are the Bobwa, but what said them? O Saint Bera, a Juma by yet, then I understand you, Juma, the Minty won't you are not from Ponin, or Yonan Cassani, the Michel, plagiarism checker. Now, Vice Chancellor Chim, they will go on Chebera, now them a free Saka, now what the Abwa, who Jimiza was in. Now, Daniel Abra, a Shaponi, yeah, a Shedisun, I was a boy about them. Uh, what are We now move on to conferment of degrees. Conferment of degrees. Chairman, with your permission, I call upon Professor George Kankam, the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies to present PhD students of the school to you for the conferment of their degrees. Thank you. Will the graduating PhD students of the School of Graduate Studies please rise and remain standing? Chairman, I have the honor to present 12 students from the School of Graduate Studies who have successfully completed the degree requirements of this university and have been found worthy in learning to be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of the University of Education, whenever. Those present and those unavoidably absent whose names appear on the list and for whom I stand proxy. PhD Arts and Culture.
Gatti. School of Graduate Studies, PhD, PhD Arts and Culture, Gatti, Co. ABM, Supervisors, Principal Supervisor, Dr. Frempon Duku, Co. Supervisor, Dr. A. A. Kemevo. Apia James Echo. Supervisors, yeah. Principal, Dr. Patrick Taft Yansen. Apia James. Co supervisor, Dr. A. A. Kemevo. Amate Craig. School of Graduate Supervisors Supervisors Dr. A.K. Kemevo Co-Supervisor Professor Mary Jansi Mapam Bruce Amate School of Graduate Studies, PhD. Edu Johnson, Kweku. Edu Johnson. Principal Kweku. Supervisor, Professor Victor Yanka. Co-Supervisor, Dr. Mary Jansi McPam. In French, Emmanuel Afari Emmanuel Kwame, Principal Supervisor Professor Amuzu, Co Supervisor Dr. Mawena Jiranko Glopo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Science and uh, uh, MCO DNA, sorry, Master's for the MCO DNA. PhD in Guidance and Counseling. School of Guidance. Gladys, Mami Equia. Mami Equia. And she done so. Professor Grace Gadagui. Osei Phyllis Amatibua, Principal Supervisor Professor Augustine Kwashiga, Co Supervisor Reverend Dr. Kwesi Inkum Wilson. Amati. PhD School in Social Studies Science. Education. Potop Samuel, Principal Supervisor, Dr. Gerson Yaodake, Co Supervisor, Dr. Jim Whaler. Potop Samuel. Adam Mohammed, Principal Supervisor, School Professor Studies. Augustine Kwashiga, Co Supervisor, Professor Awiesu Imurana Braima. PhD in Mathematics Education, School of Ogusu Graduate Asa Studies. Nana Akosia, B Principal Supervisor, Nana Professor Akosia. D.K. Mireku, Co Supervisor, Professor S.K. Esiedu Ado. Robin Benjamin. School of Graduate Edith. Studies. French Pass Supervisor, Professor S.K. Esidu Adu. Robin Benjamin. Co Supervisor, Edith. Professor D.K. Mreku.
PhD in Educational Leadership. School of Graduate Edward Studies. Sarah, PhD Supervisor, Professor Jofus Anamwa Mensa, Co Supervisor, Reverend Dr. Alexander Edwards. Mr. Chairman, I call upon Professor George Kankam, the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, to present the other graduating postgraduate students of the school to you for the conferment of their degrees. Thank you. Will the graduating students of the School of Graduate Studies please rise and remain standing? Chairman, I have the honor to present students of the School of Graduate Studies who have successfully completed the degree requirement of this university and have been found worthy in learning to be admitted to the Master of Philosophy, Master of Education, Master of Arts, Master of Science and Postgraduate Diploma in Education Degrees of the University of Education, whenever. Those present and those unavoidably absent whose names appear on the list and for whom I stand proxy. By the authority of the academic board, I admit you all and severally to the degrees of Master of Philosophy, Master of Arts, Master of Education, Master of Business Administration, Postgraduate Diploma in Education, and Postgraduate Diploma in Teaching and Learning in Higher Education of the University of Education, Winneba. Congratulations. Studies. School of Graduate Studies. Five. Master, Master of Philosophy. Two hundred and five. Master of Arts and Master of Education. Sandwich. Two hundred and eighteen. Postgraduate Diploma in Education. Sandwich. Fifteen. Postgraduate Diploma in Education. Distance. Seven hundred and seventy-six. Master of Education. Distance. Eighty-three. Mampon Agric. 3. Postgraduate Diploma in Teaching and Learning in Higher Education 38. Total 1,338. I call upon Professor Francis Owusu Mensa, the director of IDEF, to present students of the institute to you for the conferment of their degrees, diplomas, and certificates. 
Thank you. Would the graduating students of the Institute for Distance and E Learning of all the study centers please rise and remain standing? Mr. Chairman, I have the honor to present to you students of the Institute for Distance and E Learning who have successfully completed the degree requirement of the university and have been found worthy in learning to be admitted to the Bachelor of Art English Education. Bachelor of Arts Social Studies Education, Bachelor of Business Administration Accounting Studies, Bachelor of Business Administration Human Resource Management, Bachelor of Education Basic Education, Bachelor of Education Early Childhood Education, and Bachelor of Science Mathematics Education. Those present and those unavoidably absent, whose name appear on the list and for whom I stand present. I admit you all and severally to the degrees of Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Arts, as well as Diploma in Early Childhood Education, Diploma in Basic Education, Diploma in Education, Diploma in Management Studies, and Diploma in Accounting Studies of the University of Education, Weneba. Congratulations. That was a professor of you. Institute for Distance and E-Learning, IDEL. Undergraduate. First class students for the following study centers. Felicia AC Frim Paul Samuel Ajiama Jamesi Thomas Ba Benes Odami Victoria Sewa Atebubu Jebu Francis 
Cape Coast. Azraja Rebecca. Otu Bridget AC. Abuaji Linda. Denu. Bakawu Richard. Amuzu Naomi and the play. Semanu Yvonne Bridget. Tamatu Prosper. Alaja Felis Yahu. Aguayibo Precious. Enche. Akuwa Joe. Good boy. To prove Daniel, Kaswa, Love be set for a coup. Bandor Victoria, Kufuridria, Amponsa Juliana, Ohimin Harry Esiedu. Yomi Veronica Chi Mensa Chantel Pia Samuel Kubi Ufosu Modesta Kumasi Islamic SHS Bawa Jo Kumasi U W. Wachi Dao Kwang Michael. Opoku Linda. Aju Kopina Genevieve. Navrongo. Atinga Paul. Rizzo Augustina. Kopiri Anyadu Evelyn Anisina Atangeno Comfort Azuri Nkoko Anaba Susanna Obuase Ankuma Daniel Ujuma Se Krobo Tete Savior Tete Joyce Teko Awinti Mary Tete Ki Anand Lydia Okra Francis Lee Enchi Georgina Second D Asilijo Lucy Williams Yakubu Suwebati Momoni Salamatu Indego Sharifa Suga Kopen Koliti Rejoice Takwa Bonsa Godwin Suyane Jidua Abigail Osei Asibi Sylvester Bonsu Tamali Lubisko Shaibu Salifu Zida Tamali Batko Abdullah Amin 
Chichi men. Amwa Kate Frida. Winiba. Jojosi Vivian Selenu. Alote Samuel Kalan. Aju Benedict Ayem. Anuri Sylvester Ekene. Latin Ebenezer. Ban Sophia. Wafu Evelyn Abro Eric Baby Jan Mansura Afote Khadija Na Logo Felicia Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Including second class. Professor Francis Ouzou Mensa, the director of IDEV, to present students of the Institute to you for the award of their diplomas and certificates. Thank you. It's done a confirmation of honorary doctorate, a confirmation of degrees. Uh, we are on the diploma uh, with the Institute of Distance Education and E-Learning. Uh, we've just uh, Witness the various study centers with 84 with the diploma students of in the first class of the Institute for Distance and E Learning of all study centers. Please rise and remain standing. Chairman, I have the honor to present to you students of the Institute for Distance and E Learning who have successfully completed the diploma requirement of this university and have been found worthy in learning to be awarded. Diploma in Accounting Studies, Diploma in Basic Education, Diploma in Early Childhood Education, Diploma in Education, and Diploma in Management Studies. Those present and those on will be done. Take us back home safely and let us enjoy even the fruits of our labor to the extent where we can acknowledge and uh, admonish everyone to attend this particular institution of excellence. Father, we thank you for our parents and our guardians and all the people that helped us to achieve this far. And it's all by your grace, oh Lord. Be with us now and forevermore. Now let's take the benediction, please. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. You will please take your seats. some important announcements. As we have always been doing since COVID-19 struck, the distribution of the certificates are always scheduled. For the PAD and the postgraduate students, the distribution will start from next week, and the schedule will be provided at, and posted at the website. I take it again. The distribution of the certificates, as we have always been doing since the start of the pandemic, COVID-19, is going to be scheduled, and it will start from next week starting with the PhD and the other postgraduate students. The details of the schedules shall be provided 
at the university website. Then, similar details shall be provided and put on the university website for the undergraduates and the diploma and certificate graduates after the distribution of the certificate to the PhD students and other postgraduate students. Thank you. I have some invited, a list of invited guests here which I will wish to announce for recognition and appreciation. We have Reverend Dr. Kwesi Nkum Wilson, Principal, Commander College of Education. Nain Ngarte the seventh, or my hene of a Futu traditional area is also in our midst, who is also a member of the governing council. Very Reverend Solomon Odu, AME Zion Church, Winneba, is also with us. Then Mr. Enoch Ansan, the Grassack President, UUW, is with us. We have Mr. Rubin, brother, Dokinu, the SRC President. We have Mr. Kojo Osei Snakes, Accra. Then we also have Mrs. Comfort, Akosia Idu, Head of Public Affairs, Shiraj Accra. <laughs> Ms. Teresa Akon, Tewu, chairperson, and also a member of council is also with us. We also have Professor Frederick Kwakusafo, the acting vice chancellor, Akentin Apia Minka, University of Skills Training and Entrepreneurial Development, Kumasi, with us here. The last but not the least is Mrs. Akosia Ejakuma Miriku, the wife of the chairman of Council for UUW. Dessa President Sylvia Prima is also in our midst. Dessa President Sylvia, you are most welcome. For the PAG graduates, the information that has reached me is that they have been settled to pick their certificates today they have been scheduled to pick their certificates today. So take note. Then from next week, the other postgraduates will also be done. I'm grateful. Now, dissolution. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to invite the chairman of the University Council to dissolve this assembly. Thank you. Dissolution. Members of the academic board, congregation, staff, and students of the university, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to, on behalf of the University of Education, Winneba, express my deep appreciation for your honoring of the invitation of the university to attend this 
congregation. I wish you a safe journey to your respective destinations. And now, I declare the congregation dissolved. Thank you. Reception is being held at the executive guest house for council members and the members of convocation present. Thank you. Please, reception will be held at the executive guest house for council members and convocation members present. Thank you. Live on 88.3 FM, and this is our coverage for this morning. Uh, it's live on Radio Windy 98.3 FM this very morning. And uh, we've been broadcasting live from Jofos Anawa Mensa Conference Center uh, this the morning. That's where, that's where the congregation, the virtual congregation, has taken place this very morning. Uh, so far, so good. And, and let's, let's first look before we go to Anamua at the main auditorium for some interviews. Let's look at the bachelor's list address. I may touch on quite a number of issues. Uh, one, one thing that really touched me was, uh, that really touched me was uh, the, the, the establishment, the establishment of uh, the distance center at the Bema camp, right? That's very good. We're getting closer to the men, men in uniform, getting closer to the security agencies, and of course, we are going to mount a tailor-made call source that will suit these agencies. That's a good one. I think that's a very brilliant move. Uh, I have seen and witnessed the kind of work that the people at IDEL are putting in. They are working so hard. I've had the opportunity of being at some of their capacity building workshops and if you look at the, the direction that they are going, I think that uh, it's not surprising that we're going to this level. But most importantly, they want to maintain that leadership role in this time education and bringing education closer and closer and to the doorstep of people who need it most. And I think that uh, sometimes it's very difficult for some of our people in the forces to 
obtain or secure a steady lead to go and do further studies. Now with this kind of arrangement which brings education to their doorsteps, I am sure they will be able to combine and manage their time very well in order to obtain the needed certificates to upgrade themselves also in knowledge and modern training. So I think it's a beautiful move. I also believe that the centers that are being opened at the likes of Gosso, Jaso Pramso, and uh, Ada and the rest, they are also, Ada and the rest, they are very important. That's another region, Narugu and the Savannah. Savannah region, they are very important because again, it's bringing education to the doorsteps of the people. And I only congratulate them and, and pray that they don't rest on their horse, they continue to work, continue to put in more work and spread education to the furthest possible canons that uh, we have in this country and beyond. We're live on NTA.3 FM. We're going to Anamwa. Uh, we have some few interviews to conduct and we'll come back to continue from the comment of Anamwa, if you can hear me, take over. Thank you so much, King Batuka. Yeah, we are coming to you live from the Jofus Anamwa Mensa Conference Center where some 10,000 graduates of the University of Education, Winneba, uh, have today been conferred uh, with their degrees, doctoral degrees, uh, certificates, and other awards. I have with me some of the graduates, uh, some of whom are own uh, university uh, staff. And the first is Eric Abro. Eric um, had first class in BBA. Okay, so I'm going to talk to Eric and ask him how he was able to do it after this tight uh, schedules at the university. Eric, congratulations. Thank you very much. How were you able to do it? Um, it's with more resilience, studies. It has not been easy working and doing other programs as well. You know, this is not the only program I, I was reading or I read. But um, with studies and then allocating of time for yourself, know the time to study, the time to work, and the time to do other business. So, it's all about settling yourself very well and you'll be able to do it. Were there some times that you felt like drawing back? Oh, a lot, a lot. There were so many times that I felt like um, abandoning the course because I already have another first degree from another institution. So I felt like, I mean, let me back out because the course or the program was very um, intense. You go to work Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you are in the lecture hall, studying, doing other, I mean, academic work. So there were times in my life I really wanted to back out or um, stop the program. But hey, like I said, with the goal ahead of us, we realized that when we push a little further, we'll be able to get whatever we are looking for. Are there some people you want to say thank you to for all the good they did to you in your academic journey? First of all, I'm, I want to say a very big thank you to God who gave me this grace, the opportunity to go through. The greatest one goes to my boss, my former boss and my current boss. Who you are still a young guy. There are greater opportunities ahead of you. In fact, let me, let me specifically mention the name of um, the internal auditor, that is uh, Mr. Isaac Mafu Drew, who always pushes me to the world that, my friend, you are young and then you have great future, so steady. In fact, he's the brain behind every book I'm reading. And I want to say a very big thank you. My family, my mom, my parents, every close loved one that is around, I want to say a very big thank you to them. Congratulations. Thank you. The next Mansura. Mansura is a banker and it's difficult uh, combining both, doing the work of a banker and uh, also studying. So Mansura is here and she's going to talk to me how she was able to do it. Mansura, congratulations. Thank you. How were you able to do it? It takes a lot of determination and hard work to get to where we are today. And all we say is, Alhamdulillah, it hasn't been easy. You can't do it on your own without the help of the God we serve. So all we can say is, Alhamdulillah. How, how was it, managing work and uh, school? Uh, there, there, there were times that it was hard. 
but I could think I could say that emphatically my studies to where we have gotten to has the group studies discussions that we had had really impacted my results as at now and I mean work was there but then with determination and hard work we got us where we are today and we say alhamdulillah we hope that what we've had today will open doors for us and grant us more opportunities than we would ever dream of did you ever thought of having a first class okay having a first class at times you think about it i mean through all the journeys we all have in life we all wish and dream to reach the epitome of whatever we are doing so everybody, whether the person had a pass or a third class or second class upper, second class lower, I believe in me that everybody wanted to do better and best and everybody have done the best in their capabilities. So yes, everybody wish to have it and if you have it, it's grace. So thank you. I believe there are some people whom you want to say thank you for all the support. Yeah, okay. So I would like to say first and foremost, I'm very grateful, honestly. So I would say thank you to God Almighty for making me see this day and giving me um, this opportunity. Then I would say thank you to my parents and my family, my friends. I mean, um, my work colleagues who wished well, those who gave us opportunities to be able to learn due to all types of conditions that we were in. So everybody that prayed for us, everybody that helped us cash and kind, everybody that helped us in any way, I would like to say thank you to them, especially to my family and my friends. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, I have my sister here who we are going to talk to. She is uh, Sir Lenu. Yeah. Okay, my sister, how was it um, managing school and work? I'm a teacher by profession, and a wife as a well, and a mother. Okay. You a teacher? Yes, please. So managing work, yeah. and being a mother, how yeah, was it? And a wife. In school? And a wife. Um, and I say it was not easy, but with determination and hard work, then by the help of God, I've been through. And I'm glad to see this day. Did you ever thought of having a first class? Yes, I may say, because I was determined and I was focused. And the first day I stepped over here, my determination is to make a first class. Mm -hmm. So I was working hard towards it. So I'm proud and I'm happy I had it. How was it managing school, work, and a father, a mother and a wife? A wife yes. Uh, I may say it was not easy. It all deals with you making up your mind and being a management, managing your time, planning, and that's all I can say because being a distance student, it's not easy to focus on studies alone whilst you're having all other things combined. But if you are determined and you plan and manage well, you will to sail through. Are there some people you want to say thank you for the support? Yes. I thank my maker for bringing me this far. And my second thanks goes to my lovely husband, Dominicano, and my lovely family, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ampofu, for their support and advice. The university graduated some 10,000 students, so of whom were PhD students. Now over to you, King Batuka, for the continuation of the commentary. Uh, for, for, for that uh, interview, there's uh, congrats to all the good ones. You've done so, so, so well. Uh, Of this country, okay, and I will talk about uh, 12 PhD graduates also coming in. Uh, this is a very powerful one. It was only the PhD, we didn't need to group, so that's why they are allowed to go at the days. The rest, uh, the first class was on their feet, and we are accordingly by the name mentioning and the various study centers. And also, um, 
those who are not here, uh, the credit and other parts was also was also done accordingly. I know many were also following us on Facebook and other social media platforms to also catch a glimpse and watch across the length and breadth of this country. Since our uh, distant course was cast across all the country, and we continue to open, um, I mean, more study centers, uh, which has like enumerated uh, number of buildings that are also coming up, uh, especially the Kipkos one, the three-story building, which will serve as uh, the, the College of Distance Education, the one in Accra, the one in uh, Tachiman. And plus Onye Onye Kufuru the other one, so it tells you that we are we are taking education to the doorsteps of ordinary Ghanaian. We are able to influence policy in this country and also delivering. Uh, education programs to the doorsteps of the people and with this uh, development it looks as if we are on course I only pray that we do more to uh, get it further than where we have uh, got into uh, moving the 40 centers to 47 is a good thing and I believe that in no time we'll be able to add on to uh, that one so that uh, we continue to meet the needs of the many qualified applicants that uh, on daily basis day to day are knocking on the doors of the university to uh, get some programs that will help them to improve themselves and to impact on society so it's a good thing on 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 the infrastructure I think that quite a lot is also being done. Uh, according to the reports of the Vice Chancellor, it looks as if we've come very far. And I uh, pray that within the very shortest possible time, all those facilities will be done for use. After these facilities are done, and in connection with the facilities we have on campus, usually, uh, taking responsibility for the use of those facilities and making sure that the facilities are in good state and they serve the purpose for which they have been built is usually a problem because recently, uh, just before the special congregation, when I visited the, the new theater uh, buildings that had been put up, you, you realize that the walls, the paintings on the walls have been dated. And, and I think that is not the, the, the right way to go. Uh, as beautiful as we see them, let's try our best to keep them in that state and, and, and enjoy from the facilities while they last. Uh, we shouldn't do things or engage in acts that would deteriorate the facilities within the very shortest possible time. Uh, I also like the aspect where now we have uh, the tenant in uh, plagiarism checker that will ensure that works done by students and members of staff are genuine and they meet international uh, standards. And that um, when they meet or when they are able to move beyond the frontiers of this university, they are able to compete favorably with all others that would also want to rub shoulders with them. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, I think that so the, any work that will be produced, you know, that is very we'll genuine. Be subjected to that. Exactly, so. because uh, there are percentages that uh, the checker is supposed to approve. So if you beyond that percentage, you have to work on it to reduce it. So that's a good one there. I think the, vice, uh, the, the council chairman also spoke about the COVID measure that we put in place would yield the positive results with the inclusion of student leaders and uh, some selected staff who serve as ambassadors or task force members to ensure that students comply with the directive that has been given. And I think uh, our university, or the university education would be, but for that matter, the students, I, I would say that we're, we I mean, strictly adhere to the safety protocols. So on campus, you see quite a number of students on their nose masks and other things, even in town, working in town, so it tells you how the yeah, adherence was, was, was being implemented here. In other situations, because of non-adherence to the safety protocols, certain 
casualties. Yes, it was recorded, and certain issues were also raised. I remember KNUST have to shut the shuttle system because of not adherence. So we, we have to put ourselves in the bag for that. I think that that is a very big push. Uh, I really admired the rate at which the protocol on wearing of uh, nose marks was adhered to. Uh, largely, many of our students would always be seen in their nose marks. And the only instances where we had people not complying sometimes is with the taking of their selfies. And when they are taking their selfies, they would always want to take off the nose marks. And that was a little uh, blur that came onto that particular protocol. But to a very large extent, everybody you saw around will be in the nose mark. And I also. I uh, have to congratulate the security for this one too. They were up to the tax and always ensuring that people will be in their nose marks. We're live on 98.3 FM. We also want to thank time management for the, the online management. We we'll ensure that the sandwich and the distance students were able to complete the academic work successfully. That's a big plus. I think that when you go to that institute it is institutes of distance and e-learning and so uh, online activities are supposed to be a mainstay of their operations and thank god the COVID came because it really accelerated the pace of integration and i believe that once there is an initial integration there will be a lot more work to try to improve uh, involvement of online activities in the uh, the distance education uh, section and I want to believe that with the kind of and the rate of uh, capacity building activities that they are engaging I believe that very soon uh, we will go far and, and we may even be going beyond the country okay. live on 98.3 FM very soon we'll be wrapping up uh, from our commentary position uh, it's all over at the Jofos Anamwa Mensa Conference Center. It has been uh, almost less than two hours of this ceremony, beautiful ceremony, where students have opportunity of watching us and listening to us across the length and breadth of this country. So it's almost, uh, almost done here. Uh, I guess the next congregation will be somewhere in November or December, God willing. Yeah, I think in November. But let me quickly uh, highlight this, and I have observed uh, this is speeches in the last couple of occasions and one thing he's been highlighting is for our students to dare to create something for themselves and in the past few months or weeks uh, monitoring activities of our students I have heard some of them even complain that we are here doing so many things and we are not thinking of our products being employed. I think that uh, every institution uh, worth a sort would wish that after its products have been trained, they get some job to do. But we have a general situation in this country where we always look up to the government for employment, and which is always the first call of service. I think that it may also have been a cultural thing that people go to school and they look up to the government for employment. The numbers that are being churned out by the university these days are so huge and government is not able to absorb all of them. That is why we must look out for opportunities. We must dare to create sometimes uh, things that we have not really given much thought to if we thought about those things and we started something small, uh, in the meantime, while we were even waiting for that government opportunity, we could be making some money out of it. But our uh, graduates or our products should bear in mind that they too have a responsibility of ensuring that yeah. they get something meaningful doing so not be and adding to themselves and their life. Job, right? shouldn't be relying solely on government uh, getting us a job, especially these days. In the past, it was a little easier to get into government employment, but these days, it's not easy at all. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't try, 
they can keep on trying, but um, we look out for certain opportunities. And I know people who have gone into government employment and now they are out doing things for themselves. It's not all of us who are, or who have this entrepreneurial ideas or skills. Some of us just don't have it. But uh, with the way things are going these days, we have to be innovative. Even if we are looking for that government opportunity, uh, we should get something that would sustain us, something that will improve our lives. And when that opportunity in government comes, we take it up. Let's look at the number of uh, students who are with this this very morning. What, 10,000 or so? 10,000. And, and, and uh, if you look at the figure, it's, it's very rounded. And I, I wonder how it happens. Uh, when you see the breakdown, uh, I think 100 and... Uh, 88 for postgraduate studies, uh, 12 of them doing a PhD, and then 6,120 first degree, and then 2,592 for a diploma. 10,000, I believe, is, is a huge number. Mm. It looks as if the first session... Uh, we had a little over 12,000 yeah. or so, adding up to this 10,000. So what, what 22, over 22,000? 23,000. going out. That's from the university work. education okay. alone. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. it, it's true that some of them are working, okay, yeah. but majority of them, majority, I'm, I yeah, think yeah. majority of them are first-timers and they have not worked before. And so the numbers that are coming out these days, there are over 13 public universities alone in this country and when you bring the private ones in you 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 can appreciate the numbers that the various tertiary institutions churn out on annual basis it's not easy and that is why uh, uh, government's mantra of uh, one one district one factory okay, should yeah. be taken seriously because i was hoping that it, it was going to be the panacea for some of this uh, solution, but it doesn't look to be so, and I think that uh, government should really, really, really take a second look at that area to try to improve things over there. Right, live on 98.3 FM, and recently uh, the chairman also thanked the government for the financial clearance, which, which I've seen quite a number of new staff, especially the academic staff being recruited. That's a big plus to government. Two days ago, uh, the chief of staff was also here, Minister of Education, and uh, the former Minister of Education, that's uh, Mati Prempe, as well as the media past Speaker of Parliament, Professor Aaron Michael Kwe, were all here. You know, the Tuesday attention was, was in this country, was in this, on this campus, where we had quite a number of uh, also uh, projects being commissioned, and that has been the center. Uh, so far, I believe that that was a major, 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 major boost uh, because hitherto we were spending over uh, one million to try to take on people on part time uh, basis, and it was really going against the purse of the university. With this clearance, I believe that much of that amount now will be whittled off and gives the university that room to continue to develop the infrastructure, develop uh, the manpower within the university to deliver on the kind of quality education that we expect it to deliver. And the, the, the issue and the talk has been the, the institution able to use their IGF judiciously to put up all these infrastructures. That has been a challenge uh, that is uh, out there and uh, people are questioning what about the other uh, I mean, institutions of higher learning? What have they been doing with their uh, internet generator funds? We thank God that we've had the opportunity or the benefits of a very resourceful use of the uh, IGF to develop the infrastructure of the university. As we all may be aware, this is a university that came into being with the amalgamation of existing uh, institutions and definitely most of them uh, belong to the, the middle of the last century and so it was going to have an impact on the kind of infrastructure that we have 
uh, every now and then we have teeming number of applicants that are knocking on the doors of the university. We need expansion, we need maintenance. And thank God uh, uh, the management saw the need to prioritize some of these things and push uh, resources into it. Now we've had so many lecture theaters, eight already, two more will be coming through. Uh, there is this big lecture theater uh, that uh, lectures block complex that is exactly. ongoing, which will include uh, some uh, 30 or so lecture theaters. And so when all those projects come through, I believe that we'll be able to deal with issues of accommodation much more adequately than we had previously enjoyed. If you continue to mount new programs, day in day out, new faculties are also coming up. So it means that uh, these lecture blogs and the theaters will come and with the come out of a number of courses that will be mounted. Surely, when you look at the rate at which the university is growing, I believe that after uh, these projects have come through, we shouldn't rest on our house. We should continually project and see the numbers that uh, are always knocking on our doors and the numbers that we are able to pick. I believe that... Uh, our ability to also take the numbers also come to boost the uh, amount of IGF that we are able to uh, generate. And so if we want to uh, have money to do other things, uh, one of the areas we need to look at first is our ability to absorb more. If, if we have the spaces, if we have the accommodation, and, and, and by this I also mean places of uh, residence, uh, the hostels, and so I think that much, much effort should also go into the hostels to commensurate the, the number of classrooms that we are uh, developing. Because if we have majority of our students outside and with the kind of uh, sometimes uh, uh, troubles they go through trying to find accommodation, I believe that we'll do better if we have many of them on, on campus. I'm sure that the one at the back of the Simpa uh, uh, block, the female block, will be, by the end of the year, the, the year will see the light of the day. Sure, sure. In fact, it's not the, it's not the only one. The other one on the Snake Road, yeah. you'll be surprised that that one on the Snake Road, in terms of progress, is, is, is on a higher percentage than the one at the, uh, behind the Simpa block. So I'm looking at the two projects and hoping that uh, by uh, the beginning or mid next year, uh, those projects would have been true to Because that would ease the challenge that you just spoke about, the accommodation the students and, are going and, through. And if I have just remembered that the VC also announced the that bit there of will two new... Um, BOT? B, uh, le, uh, hostels, 2,000 capacity, okay. uh, bed capacity hostels to accommodate students. So uh, once these are also private persons that are coming in and are business-minded, mm. I believe that they have the cash and they will be able to push the cash into it so that that development would come through very quickly to again help us accommodate more of our students. Okay, let me go to Anamwa. Let's as we, we get ready to wrap up this very morning. Anamwa, uh, so far so good. One who will be a set up a bomb for one of my came with us in the Jumizin Akoye, the Ma and Yida Kwanan in painful shen, in brow doze in Eddie. What was the member was Eddie Menina? Now I can say, if you have for a cassa and can't come on our distance programs now. And I watch her there, and I had in the now so um, you know, there or by year into a year, a man day, a man adum, a one so when ya a buzzing crat a in Bissia Funday, say if shall it be no way a wolfonum or wokunum or we busia in tea or the words in now boom no way. Now so me one more day, we busia didn't to see one home, my in the abbey body. Now if say in the Jumizia, a one day, a coye, a vice chancellor, neck a sem, a brenner, brenner, young crop, who pin a water to crop for one works in now what is a one in the way. Now Sika is your pony dream there work of a tenant in Zaba. Na Abwama is your for one castle what they when I dream they actually shall one in Sunday, Jumani Hunde is your pony 
e eh, wa wi atado de di bia robe fi me pe no oye da o ku godra krofo bo so no so won yen krofo bo ko kaka godro na wa sana ba krofo won ni ejuma onu me hu de eh, vice chancellor on yin pe fu won pe de obandam king jumezin akoye na eh, ye bo bia na baudro esuafo en konkro impimdu de no na ribisa nsn de de mon krofo ina we in de de obanye aba na ejuma ibinu wo ye ejuma de da nan so yen yen a nche wa ku na nyim ejuma wo ye obi a bi o teacher yin oyin yan che wa akwashe baby fo foro kan kan bi obi e teacher na wa ya accountant oyin yan ka wa akashe bank bi mi ze okeke ho enyi de kwan de wo kwa akashe mi ambe sronko na de mre na enese ka eh vice chancellor de biara odi ya futu de e ma want na ho na aba no we djuma wan kasa won fa ho na adwen fanye djumi bi se e hwe ba ya mrekekre ya e sian fa wo fi su opon mu yi e bi no ma sha se wan kasa wo ye ye honin djuma kakra kra a ah, orbo na wonder na aban ansa na wenyi djuma ye onu no oye adepa nanti e bakanfo de ho na wa kan so obeye bi de mro obeye a wonta wontwen aban na aban ma honi djuma mo ye ansa na wenyi djuma wa ye king all right thank you very much alamwa i think we'll be wrapping up at this point uh, it's been great uh, coming away this morning for our coverage of the second session of the 25th congregation of the university of education winiba this morning with witness the confinement of various degrees to 10,000 students, uh, some from the postgraduate that's, uh, and uh, undergraduate uh, students this very morning at this uh, colorful ceremony at the Jeffos and Women's Conference Center. This is uh, our second virtual congregation that is taking place at this noble institution. Uh, because of COVID, we are hoping that maybe November or so something will change so that the color that are always added and the beauty that has always added and that are always seen at uh, the ceremony of this nature will not be mixed uh, because we will have had a lot of students here all noise, uh, joyous mood with their relatives and loved ones but conspicuously that that is mixed here uh, because we all understand what we find ourselves now what is hanging around our neck on this earth so we are hoping and praying that this time our next, next congregation we'll see a different turn as far as COVID-19 is, is concerned so that we'll have the normal congregation atmosphere that we'll always witness at this auditorium. So gentlemen, let me say thank you very much uh, for, for joining us on the commentary position. And let me say thanks to all the crew members, Osman A.B., um, thanks to Gideon, thanks to Sampa, uh, Anamwa, Ernest uh, Maestro, uh, thanks to uh, Coming Home's uh, set, the house has been so supportive for our coverage. And it started on Wednesday, and we uh, continue this very morning. Uh, we've ended it successfully right here on 98.3F. And those who watch us on Facebook, also listen to us on the University homepage, we say thank you very much uh, for being there for us. So we'll get it at the same time, another edition, when we have uh, another congregation to come your way. My name is Kim Batuka. To God be the glory. So to the man on the captain's bridge, that's Brad Commander, as he take over.